So far, we have learned a few things about Python. We've learned about uh, what we can use Python for. We've been able to write a very short code as to printing a simple um, string on your terminal. And we've also used a few things in our last tutorial that you might not understand by now. And so I want to take a few minutes to discuss what one of those concepts in our last tutorial, which is variables. So a variable basically is a container that can hold values. So imagine cup. A cup naturally can be used to hold anything you want, ranging from liquid to solid to other things. I mean, you could put uh, water in a cup. You could decide to put uh, sand in a cup. And that's solid. Or you could even decide to put, I mean, you can't put gas in a cup, obviously. But what I'm trying to say is, the cup is just a container. And it can hold anything you want it to hold. Now, using the cup as an example, you can put water in the cup at this time and decide to put sand in the cup at another time. If you put water and sand in the cup at the same time, then your content is contaminated and you do not actually have water or sand in the cup. You have a mixture of both. And so a variable works just the same way. A variable allows you to put a single value in a, in a, in a container at a time. Of course, you can take out that value from that container and replace it with something else. But at per time, you can only put a single value, a single value in a container. Let's just let's see what that means. Uh, I'm going to create a variable. To create a variable in to create a variable in Python, all you have to do is just to name your variable. So the variable name can be anything you want. We will be talking about uh, the rules for naming your variable later. But let's just discuss the basics of variable now. So to name the variable, I'm going to use the cup as an example now. So cup, the cup is the variable now. This equal sign here means I am trying to put something inside the cup. What am I trying to put? For now, let's put water. Now, water in this case, water is the content inside the container cup. Our container is a, if I can only type it, variable. So if I want to print this out, I would print cup out and if I run this code I expect to see cup on my screen so let's run the code oh sorry I, I expect to see water I expect to see the contents of cup and I see water which is what is inside my cup so let's replace what we have in our cup with sand Okay, let's make this uppercase just because the other one is uppercase. So let's print it out now. Cup. And again, I'll run the code. And at first you see water and then you see sand. So basically what I have done is I have used this same container to hold water at this point. I have printed out the contents of this container at this point. I have replaced the content of this container at this point and then printed out the new content of the container at this point which is why you see water and then sand so basically a variable allows you to put content into a container you can use the container in different ways so imagine i, I want to have a kind of calculation so let's just um, say calculations here I'm going to make this available so I will not be deleting much. I'll just keep typing under it. So let's say I want to have a calculation and say I have a calculator and that only takes two values and then does some kind of operation on those two values. So let's say first value is going to be 67. I, I, I mean, I just have something for 67. And then second value is going to be 55 or 50. Sorry, I don't need to terminate again. Uh, I write different languages and that uh, gets me sometimes. And so the operation I want to perform now, we'll be talking about operations later, but for now, just know that it's addition 
um, so let's do first value plus second value so what we have done is to create a variable and then we have used that variable that contains this value we have used it here however i can also store these two the result of this uh, operation here inside another variable so i can say result to be equal to the uh, addition of first value and second value and then i can print out result so again this is uh very basic you see of course i still have my water running my sand is there and then i get the value addition of these two here so basically this is allowing you um, to store a value in this variable and using that variable for an operation so now imagine i want to change this value here i can change this to 50 and change this to 200 i do not need to change my um, code here because the variable name is still the same it is the value that changed and my result would also change i just I'm, I'm you know i'm trying to be okay so my result changes to 250 now let's go ahead and comment this out uh, because we are not using it right now so we don't have to keep seeing it so to comment the code out in ph uh, in <laughs> in python you use the hash or pound sign commenting a code basically means it will not be printed out when you're trying it will not be interpreted I've, you know you can read about interpreting code or code interpreting or what uh, uh, code interpreters uh, on your own but it, it basically means hide this and do not consider it when you are running this particular code so what will happen is everything here will be ignored and everything here would be uh, print will be used by the code this will be ignored and this will be used so let's run this code again i do not expect to see water and sand i expect to just see my 250 which means that actually works okay so now let's do something else with this let's create an operation variable and let's do uh let's say plus here now we we don't know if this will work yet but we just want to try it out now we can change this to Actually, this should be operator, just to be uh, grammatically correct. Operator. Let's see if this works. I expect an error, but let's just see. Of course, even before I run the code, I get this error here. So this basically means, I, I mean, I just want to show you the limitation of what you can do with a variable for now. You can't save an uh, an operator or certain things in a variable. I mean, I could have done this, but it's still not going to work. You can see I have this error message here. So this is something you do not want to do because it's obviously going to be an error. Again, this is a basic thing that anyone who is already into programming would know. But for newcomers, I feel this is important to mention so you don't run into trouble later. However, there is something you can do to make this easier for yourself. And as we go ahead in the tutorial, uh, in the series, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your operator dynamic.